Hello, we are in Los Nietos on the shores of the Mar Menor in Spain and we're taking a train with Renfe Fev from Los Nietos to Cartagena. So um, why don't you come along and we'll see how we get on. Hola. At first glance, it might look like Los Nietos station is in the middle of nowhere. Um, there are actually two stations that serve Los Nietos. There's Los Nietos Pescaderia as well. And on the day we were traveling, it certainly seemed to be the busier of the two stations. So maybe that's where all the action is. But you know what it's like when you're traveling. You've got to do the whole journey, go to the end of the line. And that's what we did. So here's the station. Um, it appeared all pretty much locked up when we were there. And here is our train. A 2900 series single car diesel unit. Now these have two driver's cabs, one at each end, which will not be a shock, with a seating capacity for 29 passengers and a total capacity of 78 passengers. And I don't know about you, but I think that looks pretty cool. And I think we should get on board. So it's step-free access, so that's brilliant for folk with limited mobility. The configuration is largely in a 2-2 layout and what I noticed was just how clean this train was. Very impressive. And here's our seat. I think it looks great, but as we all know, you don't watch these things to get my opinion on the seat. More of that later. We depart on time and I just thought I'd give you a little idea of the journey. So we leave Los Nietos and then there's quite a tight curve round to Piscadaria station. Then we're down into the town of La Union and on into Cartagena. As I said, this service is operated by Renfe FEV. So FEV stands for Ferrocarriles de Via Estrecha. Uh, apologies for my appalling pronunciation there. Uh, that's the Spanish for narrow gauge railways. So it's just a 28 minute journey, nothing too lengthy. There have been proposals to extend the line on to La Manga, but whether that happens remains to be seen. There may be some of you out there screaming, what is the gauge? Well, it's metric gauge, a thousand mil, or if you prefer, three foot, three and three eighths inches. The section of line from Los Nietos to La Union opened in 1976. The section from Cartagena to La Union opened in 1874 to support the mining industry and mining communities. But I think it's time we get back to that seat review. So Mrs. Tibbs Travels, how do you find the seat? Quite hard, but it's a 28 minute journey. Something we did notice beside each seat was a wee device that looked like you could plug in a jack for headphones with a volume control and shuffle mode. There were screens in the train, but I don't know if that's something that would be used on such a short journey. Do you know? Please let me know in the comments. The train's equipped with a toilet. It was a little compact, even for my delicate frame, but once again, it was spotlessly clean. There was just uh, an easy to use lock, which should be easy to use for everyone else. Um, I struggle with these types of things. But yep, yeah, all in all, it was absolutely great. Everything that you need, everything worked well. Um, yeah, not a bad toilet. The train's also equipped with USB chargers and for passengers requiring the use of a wheelchair, there's an area allocated for that as well. So all in all, this isn't the biggest train in the world, possibly not the most exciting train in the world, but I think it's great. It is spacious, bright, clean and everything has kind of been thought out i feel for the modern traveler i just don't know what those switches are down at the side of the seats what else can i say about our journey well it cost two euro 70 return each i don't think you can argue with that that's pretty cheap isn't it and in terms of the journey well perhaps not the most stunning when it comes to scenery but as something that is fun and quirky and a little bit different to do. I think travelling on a narrow gauge railway is right up there. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was great fun. As our journey comes to a close at Cartagena Fev station, in fact actually you can see the main Cartagena railway station in shot now, I'd just like to say thank you to my latest Kofi supporters, Small Rouge One and Jonathan Porterfield. If you'd like to support the channel and see more travel themed content, I'll put a link to my Kofi page in the description. But most importantly, thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate it. 
and I'm grateful for all your support. In fact, if you wanted to subscribe to the channel, do you know I'm not going to stop you. As I say, thanks so much for watching and look out for the next video with Tim's Travels.